How often should you clean fine china? That's an excellent question, and we're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by housecleaning360.com, where you can find a whole bunch of service providers to come to your home and help you. So if it's near Thanksgiving time and you have a whole bunch of fine china you want to clean, but you don't have time to clean it, you can hire somebody from housecleaning360.com and they can come over and clean it for you. Okay, so today's question comes from a homeowner who wants to know how often she should clean her fine china that, let me add a caveat, is inside a closed china cabinet. All right, so the answer to that question is please don't. Leave it alone. Every time you pick up the china and you wash it, you risk cracking or breaking it. So if it's behind a glass cabinet door, don't mess with it. I'm supposing those dishes were clean when they were put in there. Just leave them alone. Now, for the average person, there are things in our life that consume our time. And so to go in and just wash fine china for the kicks, nobody has time for that. And so my suggestion is don't do it. It's not bothering anybody. It's not hurting anything. If you're not going to use the china, leave it alone. Just don't even go inside the china cabinet. Now, what I do recommend is that you occasionally and every couple of months wash the glass on the in and the outside of the china cabinet doors. Because if there's any humidity in the air or if you cook things like bacon in your house, there's going to be a fine layer of grease or film that goes across the top or the glass in your china cabinet. So you do want to clean the glass. And if you have your china inside one of those cabinets that's above your stove, when the little vent from the microwave opens and all that grease and stuff goes up there, it's going to get on the glass that's above that stove or above your microwave. So you do want to keep that glass clean. And there are a couple of different ways to clean the glass. There are different cleaning products like Spray Away is just a spray. It's an aerosol spray that you spray on the glass and it, it's a foam and it doesn't drain like Windex or something. It doesn't leak down through the little wooden brackets that piece the windows together. So it just sprays on there and it cuts the grease and you can use a paper towel to wipe it off or you can use a damp microfiber cloth. So either of those will clean that glass without the, you know, leaking or whatever and it will keep the front of your cabinets looking nice. Okay, so when it is time to clean your crystal and your glassware and your china, a couple of things that you want to be aware of is you can clean it up to about three weeks before you're going to use it. So it doesn't have to be the day before, about three weeks before and it will still be clean. What you want to do is you want to take out very carefully a stack of china and you want to take in your kitchen sink. You want to use warm water. Don't use hot water and don't use cold water because a severe change in temperature could actually crack your china. So you want to be very careful with it. Now my suggestion is that you take a bath towel and you put it in the bottom of the sink to protect the glass from hitting the corner of the sink, whether it's stainless steel or porcelain, you don't want to chip your china. So by having a damp towel at the bottom, that's going to kind of protect your glassware if it does hit the bottom of your sink. All right, so what you want to do is you want to put in a squirt, not just a couple drops, but a squirt of dishwashing soap. And you want to put about a third of a cup of vinegar in there because the vinegar is going to cut any of the grease and it's also going to remove any spots that are on your china. So as they drip dry, it will automatically remove the spots so that you don't have to dry them and then leave a film or debris on the dishes are. Okay, so you want a dish drainer and you want warm water with a squirt of dish soap and about a third of a cup of vinegar. Now you want to rinse each of the plates or each of the bowls or each of the crystals by hand because if you try to put them in the dishwasher, Again, they could get cracked, they could get chipped, and a lot of fine china has like gold embossing on it, and that can come off with the heat of the dishwasher. So you don't want to do that either. So hand wash all of the dishes, and this is where it takes a little bit of time. At the same time, this is a good time to also polish your silver, your copper, and your brass. Now, if you're having a fancy dinner, it's a red letter day, you're having a celebration of a graduation or a retirement, it's somebody's birthday, it's Thanksgiving, Whatever the occasion is, there are serving trays and platters and things that you're going to want to use. And so you want to polish all of those at the same time. And this makes a good upsell for a house cleaner who is maybe slow during the month of November or something during Thanksgiving or that just wants to sell this as a separate package. This might take an hour or two hours of your time. You just come in and wash all of this stuff and then the customer's ready to rock and roll. 
So that's a good way to do that. But you want to just polish everything, put everything back so that everything is ready just to bring out and serve. Now, when you're polishing your brass and silver and stuff like that, you can just use a damp microfiber cloth. There are chemicals, and I will link to those in the show notes, that do an excellent job polishing brass and copper and stainless steel or silver. And you want to make sure that you use the proper tool or the proper detergent for that proper item. If you use something that it's not designed for, it could actually taint or ruin the finish on those items. So you want to be very careful about those. But a damp microfiber cloth is an excellent choice to just kind of polish everything, bring everything up to snuff, and then you're ready for your special occasion. So how often you need to do it? Not very often at all. Lots of people don't use their fine china except for holidays or birthdays. And so if you're only using it once or twice a year, only wash it once or twice a year. My suggestion is don't don't create extra work for yourself. If you have extra time and nothing to do, go spend the time reading a good book or spend the time with your family. There are other ways to spend your time than cleaning china that's already clean that nobody's using. All right, that's my two cents for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Thank you.